here. So I'm using my tools. That's my washing machine. Oh, this is dryer. Now you want to check, check it out a bit? No. So go check inside dryers. Well, that was pointless. That's supposed to be scary. Very scary. Back to the apartment world. The fact that the world's are literally just named after the location really makes them not special. No. Nope. They're not magical or anything, just forest world, subway world, prison world, apartment world. Generic world. Generic song. Generic song. <gasps> Rip bunny. Why are so many people gotta lock their apartment doors? Cause Hey buddy, how you doing? I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. Hey she creepy. Was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here. Give it to you. Yeah. Got a shabby doll. Yay. <laughs> Can't hurt him. Sad it's me. She was so young then. And before that's Walter. So happy with life. Just holding on to her mother's hand. I mean, if it was Walter, why would he help me? For shits and giggles, this is the same man who told you to look through the hole in the wall for no reason. Was that the kid? The kid was knocking on my door. Combat. I was just trying to turn it off because they're not aggroed, so it's like, okay, every stop, like every stop, every stop, every stop. The oh, great leopards only minding their own business. A lot of garbage. Fuck you, nature. Ghost. Oh. 
we put more ghosts, that would get scary. No. We put what do we put dead ends? The ghosts are like the lamest enemies in the game. Yeah. Was it scary how they moan and go through walls and put like, no. like, like on puppet strings? Ooh, so spooky, so spooky, so spooky, spooky, spooky. So we know now at least that Walter is trying to kill 21 people, right? Yeah. And they just managed to kill several people, including new, including new people, or people that f f f from, the, from this apartment building. Right? Yeah. Now I ask you, where did the ghosts come from? Elsewhere. Think about it. You didn't even give you didn't give one thought one thought, did you? Award winning smile. I like how I effed up so hard I face palmed. <laughs> <laughs> like how I effed up so hard, I face palmed. I thought that was a clap. No, that was me face palming a little bit. I realized what I just said. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. No, you're not. I'll keep the face palm. I'll edit out the mistake. No, no, my mistake, but they'll know that I face palm from it. <laughs> no one will know anything. They must never know. Lockers are numbers one. Let's try to find two rooms we can open. Superintendent's room. What does Frank got? He's got a door that's shut tight. Dead, darn it, Frank. Jail cells? Frank, you went to some weird stuff? Looks like a computer. A diary. Jackpot. Red box seems even stranger today. Getting off of terrible smells. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. It was around 30 years ago that young, cu that young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Right? I was just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they, do they don't got themselves. To so they got. They don't. Maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left the newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the average right away and heard the baby survive, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by, but now I think about it, I'll bet, th I'll bet that he was an abandoned baby. It's a horrible story. Bending a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302 and in the umbilical cord I found there. Well, just gonna get myself to throw it away. Oh. That's creepy. That's so it is. Frank, why don't you give them the ability? Why don't you give the ambulance the umbilical cord? Stop <laughs> smelling the umbilical cord. It smells so oh. bad. He's, he's crying. Don't don't sniff the umbilical cord. I found more red paper, I gotta give it to myself. <laughs> found by Nurse Rachel. Try to room 302 to get it with the part. Her boyfriend, Mike, tore off. Found by Nurse Rachel. Try to room 302 to get it with the part. Friend tore off. Okay. 
Okay, so Mike's going out somewhere. Oh, wait, what? So what's that? Apartment keys. Actually, let's see. 303 is missing. Keys to the apartment. I, I, go, no, I can go to any door. Except for 303. Yeah. Am I going here? Nah. Don't you, Frank. Let's already do something about this blood. This is about my inventory size. Tight, or shut tight. So my daughter's numbers there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Okay, not 100% full. This is Rachel's room. Oh, what's good. What's good with that? I'm just gonna jab at me. Farmer Joe's had enough of your shit. Oh my God, he's trying to stun lock. Overly aggressive Cletus. You just call him Farmer Joe, though. Yeah, I know. That was ridiculous, Joe. Uh, I'll just probably go back to the. Joe! <laughs> Gotta go back to the hole. I also give myself some letters while I'm at it. It's the way you say it that makes it great. <laughs> what, Joe? Joe! You fucking serious, Joe? <laughs> what? He didn't even freaking crawl to the wall. He just automatically appeared outside the room. He was cheating. Phone up. Oh, yeah, fine. You're the other side. I have the apartment here. They gotta see where it leads me to because it'll lead me to finding uh, Mike's room. And Mike apparently has the other half of a piece of, uh, piece of paper which has some answers and needs to be returned to room 302. Of course he does. Right now, we only got half of it. Lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I gotta find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was dot dot dot. That'd be too convenient now, would it? Pick up the key to Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't at home. I guess I'll give it to the super. I'm just having fun with this. It's not creepy at all. No, why'd you give me the doll? You're gonna keep staring at me all creepily. At least not in a room. Oh no. I 
the angels will stand for the one day for to stay in your room and not have a drug trip. Nah. <laughs> Literally having a drug trip. Fuck. What's the matter? I dropped something. I can't even open my own room with the key. Real. Does that mean a weird move? Every single room in this place is gonna be freaking openable. Possibly. That sounds both interesting and tedious. Ghost in here. I don't see him. Shepherd of that sword earlier. Yeah, got a cassette tape. Gay. So, lots of old video game machines and other devices I have no idea about. Dude, take them with you. Oh, I can't stop Ghost. Question, you win. As usual. <laughs> As usual. Or just zoom in on your mic for that one. Because I like doing that. Don't worry, Jesse Cox. Yep, I ran. So he's aggroed. You're stuck there, I'm just gonna beat you up. My side G mode goes on and on in the background. <laughs> Double stomp. A fucking phone. Phone ain't gonna stop till I can find where the phone is. 
It's weird the phone is probably so loud. It can sound through every single room. Also, I can still hear. Sorry, Gmo. I told you there's no drowning out the door. <laughs> I have my TV on 4%. Those are big ones. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, here's something good. And this fuck can it could always be worse. How so? It could always make it to where, oh no, the phone stopped ringing. You better go reinitiate it. So I was thinking what would happen, honestly. Hey, you! Buddy. Ooh, new gun! Yeah. Hey, butt, and he's gone. Serious man's gone. Bloody, bloody men's underwear and torn short sleeve in the garbage. See, I didn't galvan in from here. I don't see her. You see her? Do you see her? I don't, I don't see her. Um, you see the top left window? I mean, yeah, top left window. Uh, you see that very shitty looking blob? Yeah. I think that's her. Uh, the meat building. This is the apartments. Hey, hey, Grandma, I'm gonna stomp on you. Damn, just laid that bitch out. Yeah, do it again. A moment. Did a real good job of doing that. What, it's not working this time? What's on the other guys? I had an opportunity. Thank, thank you, game. Nope. Joe, one more time. And it worked. I guess we were wrong. You actually can't see the Oh, no, they got back up. <laughs> I was saying, I guess you can kill the ghost. Oh, no, come back up. Why Farmer Joe never come back? Because. Put this in my cassette tape player. Where's my cassette tape player? Look, she's back.
Frank's back. <laughs> Where's my cassette tape player? What is this house place considered tapes? Sure, I told you to blend in with the background. No. Here's some tunes. This is great. How do you like that? This little freak. You had to come in here. Oh, come on. You can't just fly out of bounds and throw fucking fireballs at me. I get to keep the tape. I like how I can just guard an avalanche. Shit ain't nothing, it's just snow. <laughs> so that tape told us practically nothing. And also locked me in place as a blade. Well. Fuck your avalanche. <laughs> Not only can I guard the avalanche, it does no damage whatsoever. Yeah, that's not annoying at all. Also, we can find out whatever happened to Robot Jones. No. Oh. Ain't hey, no one gonna get that reference. That was a cartoon. My god, someone got that reference. Back on um, Cartoon Network back in the days. There's three, there's three different versions of the show. One with Microsoft Sam voicing jo Robot Jones, and one with an actual voice actor. Ah, uh, how would you use Microsoft Sam? Because they thought robot, you know, so use robot voice. But then during, then during season two, they're like, hey, get an actual voice actor, and then have the voice, it's like, hey, have the voice actor redub season one as well. As I see the one, two versions. Cool. The one I remember watching was the robot voice one. What does that thing it didn't even get in this place? Is this supposed to be your house? No. Can't, 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 can't go to my apartment. Oh. According to Henry, he's locked from the inside of two. two. <laughs> This is what it feels like. It's like I can't open it. My, my own key it must be locked on the inside too. Mom. Is it scary yet? No. Come on, 
gonna try really, really hard. I'm trying to crawl the way in. That's scary. Got yeah, book spray. Effective against certain enemies. Down, boy. Great juice for everyone. I feel like you're getting close to the phone. Really stopping the ghost because they don't die, so they keep trying to get back up. <laughs> I'll finish it out the door. Oh, nothing in it. Let's waste my time, ghost. One more stop. One more stop for the road. Loud. I know it was whispering in my ears. Oh, that's a phone. Finally! There's no you one there. Motherfucking cock sucking son of a bitch. <laughs> There's no one near the end. All this phone noises throughout the entire fucking chapter, only for Lord, ain't no one here. Here's an old couple. Memo says 304. A nice, sweet old couple. Again, I think I know this room 304 is, is, is we woke up when, when freaking freaking grandma was coming after me. There's paintings of everyone from the apartment, everyone who's died. Portrait. There you go. I was, I was trying to I was trying to hint at earlier. All the dead people were people people who were, who were sacrificed. Who were sacrificed and all of them in this building. Yeah, I kind of figured that out earlier. It's not exactly rocket science. Some people it is. Ready? Yes. Huh? It's crazy about man holding portal magazines. <laughs> the preferred stalker got what he deserved. Brain tree. Yeah, yeah, his name Richard Richard Braintree. He took Mike to his apartment skin is and skinned him? Richard old people? Gross. Must be the guy who plays video games. Alright, he's the only tape recorded in my game beat up by Richard. So his booty's fucked up then. Yep. 
got nice old couples, got some women that this person who lived here loved and was being stalked by the by the portal magazine guy. You had someone with an alcohol addiction, these people with lots of kids, a lady with lots, lots of cats, a person who's obsessed with guns. And f Frank, who thought that uh, the stalker was actually the boyfriend of the person he was stalking. So that's why he didn't do anything. But it's, none of, but it's not one of me and Eileen. It disappoints me. Head, head we get his head, how do get his portrait drawn? When you die. Not, not then. I'm not ready for, not ready to be drawn then. I'm too busy practicing the sounds of my people. <laughs> Bees angry. Bats angry. Keep making fun of that noise. Cause what the fuck, man? It's scary. Very. <laughs> I killed the fox. Okay. Oh, I didn't. It was a trap. Twilight Town, then. You know what's funny? What? Someone did a video analyzing the whole entire intro Twilight Town thing and pretty much summed up how that intro is technically perfect. Like, not perfect in a gameplay sense, perfectly in a narrative, con narrative context sense. The child, the idea of the child doing mundane mundane everyday tasks and waiting for kingdom hearts 2 to wait for kingdom hearts 2 to that's release. funny because i'm not talking about kingdom hearts 2 Don't let it down. Uh, that's the chapter 4 in paper marts the thousand year door where you do nothing but backtrack and it is just great Hey, just one small bl blemish. One. The internet calls the best Super Mario game, right? No, that chapter is like abysmally bad. You gotta go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth all to find the fucking letter P for Elmo. Is that the one where the guy takes your identity and you need to find a letter? Can you tell the letters you can't spell his name? Yep. So you gotta go back and forth like five fucking times to get the goddamn letter P. And then when you get the letter, you tell him his name. Guess where he runs? He runs right back to where it all fucking started. So you gotta backtrack one more last time is the final kick to the dick. Then you get to fight him. And he's pathetically easy. Should've hit that P better. Granted, he did hide it in a place where you would not have been able to get it at all. Had one of your enemies not decided to fuck, I'm gonna join you now.
first, poor grandma. That's little grandma. Yay. Best loading screen. Oh, we all know that everything's huge loading screen's better, right? Rachel, love you always. Watching window protect you is love. Like, that did not tell me where the key was. Ah! That guy has a love letter. Disappointed. Chris, we're back on the hunt. I just so shot a bear in the head. Good for you. He's a blue mage. Oh. Except he can only use his blue magic as his limit break, meaning kind of useless. Oh. He must learn abilities by draining certain enemies, and then and, and then he, and he gets them. But the thing is, you want to know which enemies will have a, will have a special skill, so you're probably going to use it every enemy, because you don't, you don't know if I have one or not. <laughs> that civilian swing. <laughs> it's fucking good. Anyway, what's even more annoying, is this freaking fact that about that you're not really that powerful. Not only that, every character generally tends to have their own specified area on the sphere grid, right? Yeah. But you know, I think did we cut the recording yet? Uh, not right now. Uh, we did at one point, yes, but I did earlier. But I was like, maybe, maybe I don't know how long ago, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. Oh. I, I, I did do it like silently, not saying anything. Yeah, he's, he's beyond useless. Not only that, every character generally has their own specific pathway on the sphere grid. He doesn't, really, he doesn't really have one. To make things worse, his default limit break is jump, is a dragoon skill jump, jump, and he's a lance, like a dragoon. But he's in fact not a dragoon, making me go, why do we give him the tr the whole marks of over being a dragoon? The only thing he's missing is having his last name be friggin' Highwin. Because <coughs> every dragoon, every important dragoon in Final Fantasy's last name is Highwin. We're not very creative. It's a staple of the franchise. It's like having, it's like, it's like when Final Fantasy VI started having bigs of, started, started having bigs and wedge. Every game after that had bigs and wedge. <laughs> Final Fantasy V introduced Moogles. Suddenly we always need. Suddenly we almost always need Moogles. I said almost always because Seven's case, Moogles. The only Moogle was really just Kate Sif's freaking Moogle robot. All these slugs. I clean this up. I used to have that stuff giving me, he's still giving me more rooms I can't open. Give me rooms I can't open, but are pointless too. Game, it's a dick move, and you know it. <laughs> I'll open this room, fine, we won't find nothing in it. Alright, you just a motherfucker. Not only that, Kamari may also have a backstory as tied to Yuna, but guess what? It has nothing to do with what's currently going on. He's really just here because. Ooh, gun. Oh, it's a model. All the guns are models. This chapter is just full of dick moves, isn't it? Hey, look, Joe, he's gonna hit me, so it's just dialogue ends. <laughs>
He's biting my nipples. Not my fetish. Who even does that? Adventures in futility. Me or Farmer Joe? Someone converted a model gun into an actual gun just to get. Just a kill a cat to get you peace. It's like it's, it's, it's allergies. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're scared of Richard, who has an, act, who has an actual revolver. Oh. Doesn't need to convert a fake gun into a real gun. Joe's annoying. Get out of my way. And I go back to the room, not because I made progress, because I have to go back and heal. Look, Farmer Joe. Back through the home. Continues to torment us, and every Frank continues to stare at our door, and Eileen continues to be Eileen. That's a mystery man again, he just smiles. Save calling in here for now. Yeah, it's like 4:30. We, we made past two worlds. It's very good progress. 